910 is the time right now. Local boxer is making a big move in his career to make a positive impact. We're talking about Greg Sharpshooter Outlaw Jr. making his debut as a professional boxing promoter at a community driven event that he's holding this weekend. It's called Beyond the Ropes and is set to take place at Bowie State University October 12th which is just two days from now. Greg Sharpshooter, Outlaw Jr. is here. He's the man behind it. And Tanya Baskin, CEO of Baskin Group. Good morning to you both. Welcome to the show. Uh, let's talk about this partnership first of all. No, let's back up and talk about the event. Let's start there. Tell us about the event and, and what's uh, the motivation behind it. As you said, it's October 12th, Saturday at Bowie State University. Uh, it's a big deal for me. This is my alma mater. Mm -hmm. I'm making a little bit of history. I'm the sole promoter, mm -hmm. and I'm fighting as the main event. So you can imagine my stress has been, it's been <laughs> high. It's been real high, but it's going to be a great event. Right, right. Yes. Okay. And, and Tanya, your role in this, you're, you're teaming up. Tell yep, me about teaming that. teaming up with him. The Baskin Group is a, a marketing agency, mm -hmm. and Greg is our client. So we've been working with him on the operations of the event, as well as building his outlaw brand. Right. Why is this event important to you? It's important to me because I'm giving back to the community. Mm -hmm. Is that my school? I love Bowie State. Bowie mm -hmm. State helped motor who I am today. And, um... I'm doing, I'm doing something that most people don't do. Right. Yes. You, which, is, which is outlaw nations we worry about. Right. Go ahead. I think technically he's like making history, right? right? Because very rarely do you see a boxer in this point in his career that's able to, one, have a successful boxing career and then also be able to promote an event. So I think the culmination of the two is really, really interesting. Right. What made you decide to do that, though? I mean, that's a heavy load. You're, you're basically in charge. You're the boss. Yes. And you're going to fight. So what made you decide, okay, I know fighting has been your thing. You've been fighting boxing since you were five. Yes. Now you, you're, you're taking on this extra role. Why? To be honest, I'm a big ticket seller, uh -huh. right? I picked the cheeks in the seats. Um, shout out to my mom and my team. So I felt like why not I benefit solely well, a lot from the benefit for ticket sales, you know what I mean? And um, I got a great team behind me, Outlaw Nation. So honestly, I just focus on the fight and they up working. They got their regular jobs and they uh -huh. working probably at wee hours in the morning helping uh -huh. me out that I don't know about. So right. I'm, I'm so grateful for them. Right. It's a beautiful thing. What do you hope people take away from this and what's the, what's the benefit to the public? Right? I think a couple of things. I think it's interesting to see Greg, a young, young guy in this sport um, and doing both, taking the dual role. I think it's also interesting that he can sort of put a new face to boxing, mm -hmm. right? To see him take this position and also, you know, he did talk about cheeks in the seats, but I think it's also we want to change the face of boxing and really show that it can be a community driven event as well as a competitive event. Right. How do people get uh, tickets to the event? How do, what do they need to do to come to the event? Team Outlaw for Life, and that's a four, the number four. Go there. We have tickets available. It's online. You can buy tickets online. Uh, you can buy tickets at the door. Just show up October 12th, 6 p.m. The door is open. All right. All right. How did Bowie State uh, help shape you? Uh, in this role, because we know Bowie State Bulldogs. Hey, hey Boo, hey, you know, I knew that, did you? <laughs> you guys, that yeah, was yeah, good. I was, yeah, that was good. Nah. <laughs> I got you, I got well, you, well, okay. Uh, I had to keep it down because of the roof in here. Oh, okay, you know, okay. Yeah, yeah. So tough, how did the school help, help uh, turn you into the guy that you are today? Um, just a lot of lessons, you know, like even the hard work and community. I, I did a lot of for the community and just being around my people was a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't trade it for nothing else. Okay. I, had full, I had scholarships to go elsewhere. Right. I stayed here because I wanted to keep boxing and the best choice I ever made. Right. I wish I could do it all over again. <laughs> Go back to college and just, just do it all over. That's it. Right, right, right. I yeah, got you. Yeah, all right. yeah. Well, thank y'all very much for coming in and talking with us. Thanks and and uh, best of luck on the, on the uh, promotion and in the ring. Main event. Main, the, main event. Main event. You're the main event twice because you're in charge and then you're Both. the main. Both. Okay. I'm going to try that around. I, well, I can't do that around here. <laughs> It's to, oh, no, 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 I'm good. I'm good. Hey, hey, boo. Hey, boo hey. Hey, do it again. <laughs> yeah, I'll, get, I'll do it. I'll do it once I toss it over to Jonathan once he's get done, just done with weather. <laughs>